Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another video based on the topic of areas. This time there are some uh, particular problems of squares and rectangles which you should understand in order to understand this entire chapter of areas and to solve higher problems of areas easily. So this video is very useful for all the class 6 onwards uh, students and uh, obviously for all the competitive exams you know all those who are preparing from uh, the scrap they need to watch this very carefully after watching this video you need to practice this concept using the detailed uh, practice worksheet which we have made specially for this video the link of that worksheet is given in the description box here below so you can click that and uh, uh, download that practice it that will complete your practice for this uh, important topic of area of squares and rectangles let me also tell you that uh, the best offers are going on for the ebook of short tricks. Uh, mind you, a very nominal costing ebooks, they are not totally free of cost because most of the messages which I get, you know, uh, they are like they expect everything to be free of cost. It takes uh, a huge lot of time uh, making all these uh, original content and the PDFs, a uh, lot of hours put in. So uh, you can expect it to be uh, costing a little bit. So if you want to invest on your education and upskill yourself to calculate 10 times faster, uh, study this ebook of short tricks which contains 350 short tricks in uh, 338 neatly typed pages and comes with a uh, video support. Then reasoning course also comes with the video support. If you don't understand anything, just click and watch. Then CBSC practice uh, worksheets. You know, a new session has begun and uh, most of you are looking to you know practice all those concepts which are taught to you at school level. So we have comprehensive worksheets for each and every topic from class 6 to 10th. So you can send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963. That is the number. Or you can uh, visit the website www.sureshagarwal.in. That's my name in the website. Uh, obviously, the link in the description shows uh, the uh, how to do download the 60 question practice PDF for this particular topic. Let's see the concepts in hand. So we have uh, first type of questions in which uh, we are given a figure drawn on a square grid and we need to find the area of the figures by counting the squares. So it's very simple actually. You know, you just have to count how many squares are there uh, within that particular figure. So if you see, this is one complete square. This is another complete square, two. See, this is another one and this is another one. This is another one. So we have five complete squares. And uh, then there are some incomplete, that is half squares. So five are totally complete. Plus, let's see how many are uh, half. We have one uh, here, one here, one here, and one here. So I think four half squares. So if you multiply four by half, you will get two. So the area of the figure is five plus two, which is seven square units. So why did I square units? Because it can be a square grid of uh, side one centimeter or it can be one inch or it can be anything. So square units. Likewise, in the second figure, if you see uh, how many total, uh, you know, complete squares are there. So I'll put a uh, tick mark one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten complete squares. So that will be ten plus. And let's see how many are uh, half. So I'll put a cross here, one and then two. Only two inside uh, um, the given figure there are half squares. And therefore, we have to write two times half. And therefore, this will be 10 plus one, which is 11 square units. That is the area of this figure. Now, this is the basic understanding of what area is and how many square units are there in a particular figure when the figure is drawn on a square grid. Let's see some more problem. In this uh, question number three here, we have uh, square tiles of side 100 centimeters, which are uh, being used to cover a floor measuring 32 meters by 20 meters. So this, these are the dimensions of the room and this is the side of this square tile. So when a very common question for competitive exams also and for all the school students, this is really, really important. So whenever you have to find the number of tiles which are used to cover a floor, always find the area of floor which is being covered and divide that by 
area of one tile that will give you the number of tiles but be very careful that the units have to be same like in this case area of floor is 32 by 20 so 32 into 20 that's fine but that is in meters right both the dimensions length and breadth are in meters but you can see the square tile is of side 100 centimeters so let's write 3200 centimeters by 20 and then followed by two zeros centimeters so i have converted them into centimeters and for the square it is length uh, into length that is the uh, side into side right so we can cancel four zeros from this and therefore you will have the answer 640 640 tiles are required to cover the flow now this is a very simple but very important concept how many tiles are required to cover the floor uh, the tile can be of any shape and the floor uh, is normally you know rectangular let's have the fourth question here ravi bought a rectangular carpet measuring 11 meter by 6 meters and a square mat measuring 5 meter on each side now if you see the area of this carpet is 11 into 6 66 square meters and the area of this mat is 5 into 5 25 square meters now one square meter carpet costs rupees 22 so if you want to find the total cost of this carpet you just need to multiply 66 by 22 that will give you 12 to 1 carry then we have 12 12 24 25 5 2 carry and then 12 plus 2 14 so rupees 1452 is the cost of the carpet likewise the cost of the mat 25 square meters and this costs rupees 18 per meter right so total cost it will be 25 times 18 this is 8, 18 5 is a 90 0 9 carry 18 to the 36 45 so 450 rupees so we need to find the total cost of both the uh, carpet and the mat so the total cost will be 1452 plus 450 and the uh, answer for this uh, the for the question will be 1902 rupees so see a concept of area being used to find the cost of something when cost uh, of the unit area is given to you that is cost of one square meter is given to you again two very important very basic but very important questions uh, which are uh, you know based on areas of squares and rectangles you know you can find huge uh, number of questions for practice these type of questions in that practice pdf so that's why i keep on telling you to download it from the link given here very very nominal costing uh, the worksheet okay so let's see some more questions these are some specific type of questions given in the worksheet uh, you have a, a, a irregular shape which can be converted in the form of squares and rectangles and you have to split it into rectangles and squares and then find its area so if you see this first figure if i extend this line like this and this line like this we actually have three rectangles if, let's name them as one two and three now if you know the dimensions of all the three then i think you can calculate the area for the first one the length is three and the breadth is five so this is 15 square centimeters for the second one if you see carefully the figure the length is four and the breadth is okay that's one centimeter and three centimeter is the total length so two centimeters so that is eight square centimeters and finally the third figure is exactly same as the first one so that is 5 into 3 again 15 square centimeters so that area of the figure that is the total area will be the sum of 15 8 and 15 which is 38 centimeters square splitting the figure into rectangles and squares that's what is going to work for us here if you see the second figure there you can draw this horizontal line between uh, these two parallel lines like this and like this so we again we have three rectangles see it's not necessary that we will get three rectangles every time uh, coincidentally we are getting three rectangles here you might get some squares also when you extend those lines and convert it into rectangles or squares so look at the first area there it is 6.5 the length and 1.5 is the breadth so that is 
six. Uh, oh, this is not six point five. This is rather only six. So that simplifies our calculation. Six times one point five is nine centimeter square. And likewise, if you see the third area, the third area is also the same. Six times one point five. So first and third, they are same. How about the second one? The second one, the length is two centimeter, which is uh, written vertically. And uh, then 1.5 centimeter on each side, right? So 1.5, 1.5 on each side, uh, three. So the breadth will be three centimeters, and therefore the second area will be six centimeter square, thereby giving you the answer that total area of this figure is nine plus nine plus six, which is 24 centimeter square. So that's how you need to. Break it into squares and rectangles, and then find the areas of the individual shapes. Add them to get the final area. So, friends, uh, this was lecture number 33 of this series of videos. I hope you are watching each and every lecture and getting benefit out of this. Do send me a message on uh, WhatsApp 9896369963 if you want to have a compilation of all those practice PDF which will complete your. Uh, Class six course and obviously for competitive exams also this is going to prove very very useful. So friends, do share this video with all your friends who are at school level right now or who are aspiring to clear government competitive exams. Do subscribe the channel for getting all the notifications. I hope you have clicked the bell shaped icon and you must be getting all the notifications of the uploads on your mobile itself. Thanks for watching this and all the best.